The new machine is supposed to arrive on Friday, but until then, I have dirty clothes. So every once in a while, I would try this thing and see if it would work. And it came back on. So I put some clothes in, and I started it, and it did the same thing. So I had to slop some more crap right here. I'm going to wring it out. But yeah, but this time, even though it's back on, it won't turn off. Nothing works. You see what I'm saying? Too unpredictable. Stinky. Stinky. Hanky panky. <laughs> I'm back at the little food pantry. There's two of these that I keep track of, and yes, I am keeping track of them because I was wondering, like, if I put all this stuff in here, does it all disappear? you know, in one whack, but it doesn't. Whoever's coming through here, they just pick and choose. They don't take everything. But I have noticed a pattern. They do seem to like stuff that is not, um, not too hard to open. So what I mean is, like, if you can get, if they're gonna have the soup, they would rather have a soup with a pop top, right? And also, they would leave this behind and get something that's if you had one of these in microwavable, they would choose the microwavable one. So that tells me it might be a kid. They might not have a stove they can cook it on. And so, or pots and pans or whatever. But we got Annabelle here. She's going to help. Hello. <laughs> let's go ahead and put some stuff in here. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and, since there's not very much in here, you don't have to put it all the way in the back. Put it up in the front so they can see that there's something new. What do we got there? This? Um, yes, you can make a good meal with that. That's um, rice aroni. Yes, microwavable. Mm -hmm. And some mashed potatoes. Yeah, you can put, add some water, you get mashed potatoes real quick. Now that. <laughs> macaroni. <laughs> that's your traditional macaroni. You have to have a, something to cook that in. Yep, there you go. Oh yeah, Vienna sausages. There you go. What do we have Some here? Beefaroni. Beefaroni microwave. And oh, get the chicken with the pop top. Now that I think I need one of those for myself. <laughs> we'll put two at a time in. Can you get one out? Hmm. You gotta tear the package. Yes. You can do it. Go for the other end. Man, this is hard. All right. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Buy these because they are pop top. Because right, some people don't have, have a can opener. Chicken noodle soup. Yep. And lastly, we got some juice. Yes. You know what I'm going to do with that? Here. You can hold this. And I brought something. I brought scissors. Because I figured I cut it in half, right? And then maybe somebody will only take half and half. Yeah. Right, here we go. And just to make sure, this way's upside down. There we go. We'll put one up here. Green beans. Yeah. Hardly anything in here. People get it out. So there we go. Now, we're going to go check out the other one. Uh-oh. It's the roundabout time. Hey, hey, don't just come jumping in here. Goodbye, roundabout.
Look at this. The Black Widow. Don't be scared of a black widow. Things have changed. <laughs> Can't even get an oil changed without signing a waiver. COVID. Let's look at trucks. What do we got here? Uh -huh. Black. You're too hot. Too hot in the sun. Mm. Suburban. Oh. This vehicle cool. Okay. Put this back here. Huh, I blew it. There it goes. Uh, same, um, same setup as mine. My truck. Yeah. It'd be great to go traveling if there was stuff you could go see. <laughs> what a freaky world, man. Hey, I like this. This. Oh yeah. What does this say? Does it say anything on here? Oh there we go. Is it fifty-four thousand? Yeah. A little freaky bug. If it just locked up. It would. Look at this one. Uh, never mind. I need four door. It's got like the half door. Can't handle that. Hmm. Oh, another nice one. Yeah. Is it unlocked? Wait. 52,000. Oh. Man, it doesn't even smell like lawn clippings. Oh, another nice one. Okay, I gotta go for a walk. A long walk. A long, lonely walk. This place looks kind of abandoned. <laughs> is so yeah I'm not gonna stick around and wait for my oil change I'm going to get the heck out of here and go do something else you know it's gonna take him a good 40 minutes or more that'd be just perfect for me get some stuff done like what can I get done I think I'm gonna go get my hair cut <laughs> Any stripes on this field? Well, they need to cut it. Tell. It says do not walk. That just makes me want to walk. <laughs> Good job. Come somebody. Don't hit me, dude. There was a freaky truck over there.
Let's see which one here we go. It is nine o'clock. Oh, it's open. It doesn't work till five minutes after they're open. <laughs> the super early part. This person's drinking a freaking shake and tried to run me over. <laughs> What's up? Shake and bake. There's people eating inside the Waffle House. They're risking everything doing that. Might be safer hanging out by that COVID tent. What's up? I don't know. 23 minutes. That's freaking perfect. I know you lawn freaks hate dealing with this. All these little flags. You come up in a section like this, you got all these flags in the way. You got a low tree like this. <laughs> oh, I hate those things. Well, that didn't take very long. Walk right in. Really? Oh, no, there's people. There's people. Well, I'm gonna take this mask off that I wasn't wearing. And then I'm going to, can I do this? There we go. Uh, <laughs> then I'm gonna put a different one on so they can cut my hair, right? I'm thinking one of these behind your ears. And, all right, now I gotta hang out. They all walk down here. I was only in there four minutes. Or did they slow this down because somebody's delaying them? That's what I think is happening. I think it's somebody's taking longer. This is an estimated wait time. Out of the tech has some recommendations for you on brakes. Um, if you, we do have everything here. If you'd like to get them done, I can give you a car to drive. Um, if you'd want to schedule it for another time, that's fine too. So it's like 
my hair is cut. <laughs> I don't like these masks. I like the ones that go around better. I like my blues mask. My sister made that for me. I also like the N95 masks. Just a regular dust mask like I always used for lawn care. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> they called me and they said, yeah, we recommend your brakes. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. They're gonna give me a loaner. And I didn't plan on being without my truck the whole day, but they said I'll get it back tonight, and that's good, because tomorrow I'll have some catching up to do. I could never have done this back in the day when I was full-time lawn care. Full-time lawn care? Don't call me. Don't bother me. I'm not going anywhere. There's no vacations in the summer. <laughs> I can't get my oil changed. I can't do it. It's a quick trip. I should go get some sneaky snacks, huh? Yeah. So, anyway. Being part-time, I can pull this off. Now, I scheduled it because today, I've been caught up, you know, from because of the nice weather. And I scheduled this today because I knew, oh, this will mess up the first half of my day. I didn't know it was going to mess up the whole day. <laughs> so I'm going to get some freaky loner, I think, you know. Crash truck. Cool, thanks, dude. <laughs> anyway, let's just go see what's happening. Mask number three. All right, I had the other one, like I said, just for the haircut. I hate those little ones that go behind your ears. They're not tight enough. This is the one you want on you when you're around people. What the heck do I have here? A Malibu? Oh, heck no. What am I involved in? Do I even know how to start this thing? Push buttons. Take this off in here or not? Okay. Reverse camera. Oh, yes, yeah, good. I'm still looking old school here. They look behind me anyway. Never know. All right, I gotta adjust the seat. Do that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> That's not the one I want. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough for me. Turn signals work, yep. Better not do this right here. Whoa. Test this sucker out. Look left. You look right and you look left, but that'd be too much for you to handle. Haha, <laughs> stepped on it. <laughs> it does drive smooth. Real smooth. But I still like my truck. <laughs> Got the truck right here. He's got a mower. What's he got? What's he got? It's green. Jundir. There we go. I didn't crash the car. I made it back. Got my mower out. I think I'm going to cut my front lawn while I wait for them to call me. But I do know that I didn't scrape it last time. 
and I had some wet, dewy stuff. <clears throat> Hold on here. I'm losing track of what I'm doing. There we go. All right, I can see. I can see. So yeah, I need to... I haven't done anything like this in a while on video. I'm trying to... Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> See the mold growing on it? This is the spot. The only spot that it builds up occasionally. It was so wet. It was like all crabgrass and stuff. I should dry it out crabgrass now. I need to change the blades on here this weekend. So that's one of the projects right now. I just wanted to do that. I'll leave it down there. I'm gonna blow it off up into that car eventually. Who cares? <laughs> I think I'm gonna cut my front yard real quick. Ah, uh, yes, the Ferris 48. It's still alive, and so am I. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and cruise on down the side. There isn't nothing wrong with the mower, by the way. I did hit the chute blocker on some stuff a few times, had to bend it back in shape. I've also flipped over the handlebars towards the left one time when I hit the a landscaping on this one property on a slope. I slid down and it slid right into the landscape and I flipped over it and to the side on the left and up into the bushes. I climbed out and got back on and kept on going. Right here, I'm just starting with the first perimeter cut right down the driveway. I have to watch out for that. That right there is the pipe that comes out under the driveway and keeps this ditch full of water. It's always wet down in there, and right now, it might be not looking like it's full of water, but it's soggy. So you have to be very careful here. If you put the wheels down in there, you'll get a big rut like that, but worse, mud stripes and it's a disaster if you go down in there right there it's kind of dry but still you wouldn't want to run through it so sometimes when i'm getting down here by it and i'm kind of gauging what i'm doing like oh i can't go any farther see how i step off to the side because it's the velky wheels that seem to make the biggest ruts yeah you put your weight on that velky and those little tires they're not very wide they will be the culprits here and right around in here somewhere, I step off a little bit because it's extra wet. Jump back on. Come up here. I have to leave a whole bunch out in the middle, kind of uncut, because I would sink and mess it all up. So there you go. That's what we're doing. Time to get the trimmer out, and I'm gonna head down here where I couldn't use the mower. So you'll notice I'm not just going all crazy style back and forth and all that. You'll end up messing things up if you do that. Right now, I'm trying to feather it in, blend it in. I want it to be the same height as the mower. I don't want it to be lower, I don't want it to be higher. And how I do that is, I start right where the mower reached, and that's my height that I want to hold. And I take just a little bit off, which allows me to scoot a little bit closer and come on back, making sure that I'm still the same height as what the mower was. And then I go along and pick up any little stragglers and fine tune it. But the thing is, I'm trying to do is blend it in real nice. So you can't really tell, like a little seamless transition. No one knows that the mower didn't go down here. Time for some one-handed trimming. Yep, you can do this. Put a camera in one hand, trimmer in the other, and just move right along. But see, I'm really cheating because I can let it kind of hover and bounce off and pull me right down that asphalt because the asphalt sticks out to the side. You know, it's all jagged here. You can't ever make a good edge. So I can just let it grind on down right now so that you can see what's happening. 
right there that's the area I always drive over with my truck <laughs> and um, so you can't keep grass growing there take a look ah, I got it outlined so I'm gonna go ahead before I cut the whole yard go back down here because you know I was knocking some tall grass down with that weed eater and it was just flinging it back up into the area that I cut and it wouldn't look good even if I blew it off because they were they were some long pieces so here I'm doing the pull back move I'm walking backwards with it so that I can keep blowing it all up into the yard that I'm getting ready to cut and that's what we're doing don't hit the camera can we go around the camera yeah we can do that now we head on down and chop up some more of that tall stuff and shoot it up in the yard and there you go make the whole outline and get her done Well, whenever you're done, you blow everything off, and I'm going to go down in my favorite part of the lawn and give it a quick little blowjob. Don't be scared to do that. <laughs> and I was going to head on back up here and call it a wrap. I thought I saw something in the yard that needed blown off, a little leaf, but it started moving before I could even hit it with the blower. Look at that. It's a frog. Whoa, come back here. You know me. I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to... Find it a new home. Get down in there. Eat some bugs. Yeah. There's water down there too. You'll be fine. Call to let you know your Silverado's ready. Thanks. Bye. End of message. To delete this message, press 7. To save yeah. it in the archive. All right. Let's see if we can get this white rabbit to slip through the roundabout. This is where you got to watch out. Oh, God. Watch out. Don't do it. Man, always a freaky scene. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can park this thing right back where I got it from. Nope, someone's got me. Another one, a twin. Yeah. What the heck, man? We'll go in between the two trucks. Got the utility truck. Yeah. There we go. Let's see, how do we do this? I push a button, grab my phone. Let's see what happens if I just go with that. And press break, okay. But we're not gonna do that, because we're not starting. Now they said that they freshly sanitized it for me. Well, <laughs> what the heck? They better sanitize it again. It smells like grass. <laughs> oh, don't be scared of paying money. You gotta do that, that's what life's all about. Yeah, somebody's been in my seat. We'll just throw that and the bill right over there. Okay. I feel better already. I feel real better. Once we get this air on. Let's see if they've been listening to any freaky music. No, no music. All right. Sanitizer. Okay. Yes, I'm a germaphobe now. Don't judge me. Judge me, I'll judge you. <laughs> Walked right down this road earlier. Yeah. This time, I'm in my truck. And 
I am going to go to one of my hangouts. Uh oh, somebody's trimming a sidewalk. Oh, there they go. Oh, the lawn freaking me just got all excited. Let's go for it. <laughs> Don't be scared. Actually, we gotta be careful here. There's another one, trimming. I was prepared for this. See what I brought? Yeah, prepared. Figured I needed a top off. Okay, we're doing good on time. Better than I thought. You're a blower now. Let's see if we can escape this place. clean edge on that sidewalk. Hmm. This is going to be tricky. How tricky is this going to be? Keep an eye out over here. Not that tricky. On the road again. There's the blower. And there's the mower. Cheers. Don't tell my doctor. That'd be our little secret there. I just need a little bit. I'm gonna drink about a third of that. I need some extra energy. I'm gonna go do two lawns tonight so I do not have to have them on my schedule for tomorrow. I'm part-time lawn care, full-time everything else. I roll with the punches. Who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow that's gonna sidetrack me. I have something scheduled that is probably going to sidetrack me or be a headache of some sort. It's my washing machine. I have one scheduled for tomorrow. It's the only one that I could get delivered tomorrow. All right. It's the only one I could get delivered this week. So when I went to look for washing machines, I had three different places and again I've ran into this problem before and I'm sure you have this year too. There's been production delays. There's been production stoppages. There's um, this distribution network um, has been all messed up all right, around the whole world, okay? So a lot of things are that you think you used to be able to just go in and buy, like, I need an electric can opener. I don't know, next time you're at like Walmart or Target, look, see, do they have an electric can opener? You don't know. They might not. Things are still kind of jacked up from the whole shutdown. So when I went in to look for the washing machines, my options were still pretty slim. I'm sure it's better than it would have been, say I went like two months ago out there or three months ago, who knows what was out there? Probably nothing because this was the only one that I could get delivered this week. Now there was stuff, the end of next week, we'll have this model in. I'm like, what about this thing? You're like, no, the manufacturer's not, no, they're out of stock. What's this? Out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. So I'm getting an LG. Thank you for all the comments and everything. I learned a lot about washing machines, but I had to get this because I need a washer. Here's an example. Breaks on Sunday, it's Thursday. I've wore these pants two times now. Okay, you, it's easy. Everybody's got extra shirts, socks, and underwear. That's not a problem. But I've wore these pants twice. I told you they need to sanitize that car they loaned me today. <laughs> And so, um, I'm not wearing them three times. So, I got an LG, got a $700 one. And I think it's going to match okay, but who really cares? Um, they, 
I, there was also a high-end one. There was a $1,400 washing machine available. And I don't know about you, but I mean, these aren't fancy pants. I don't need a $1,400 washing machine. And you know, um, another thing that I don't need? A $2,000 deep freeze. I didn't order one of those because in late March, when all the stores didn't have groceries and everybody was trying to stockpile, and we were running out of places, to, we could even find the food, like chicken breast and all that. I was like, I need a deep freeze. Well, I was late to the game. I couldn't find them anywhere. I even went on Amazon to try and order some one. They didn't even have any. Home Depot had their whole section. I don't know what else they had shut off, but they had that whole section shut off of their website. Lowe's, theirs was open, but it had, you couldn't click on anything. It was just said out of stock and you couldn't even click on it and read about it, except it had like four things that you could pre-order and order. And there was a like, 2,000 something dollar deep freeze thing you could pre-order. And then there was like some other stuff that I don't even know what the heck they were. It was different than what I did, what I was used to. But I did order one of these. I should do an unboxing and show this to you sometime, okay? It's a mini, it's a GE, it's 249 bucks. I pre-ordered it. It's a little chest, deep freeze. It's like the smallest one they had. My options were out of like four kinds, four things. And they were, two of them were super small. One was a different brand. And then this giant thing. So I went ahead and I ordered it, paid with my credit card on there, and it said it'd be like three weeks out. So like April, like, you know, whatever, 20th or something. I'm like, cool. Well, a couple weeks later, I got a, a text alert from them saying, would you like to continue on with your um, position on the pre-order because there is a delay and it might be mid-May before it gets there. I'm like, whatever. So I did that. Then there was another one. Then there was another one. Last Wednesday, I got a thing saying, your mini uh, uh, freezer will be delivered tomorrow. And I'm like, what? Okay, cool. And it gave me a window. It said like 8 to, you know, 3, 8 a.m., 3 p.m. or whatever. I'm like, great, I know this game, right? Everybody does, from like the cables and satellite or whoever. They give you that big window and you're never first. No one's ever been first. Everybody's last. <laughs> and so if they say like 8 to 3, they're going to be here at like 2.55 or 3.15 or something. Well, we're still here, you know, and you're like, yeah, whatever. I've been looking out the window since 8. But uh, um, anyway, back to the thing. I ordered it, it showed up, and, they, and um, they charged my credit card one week ago, last Thursday. I got that. And then Sunday, the washing machine goes out. And I find out there's still supply chain disruptions and things and manufacturers and so I have limited options I order this and they say it will be delivered my washing machine tomorrow between 9 and 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. I am supposedly stop number two you know? <laughs> we'll see what happens so if I go do these two lawns tonight I will only have my two normal ones that I do on Friday my two biggest ones my two pretty lawns. They're my nicest looking ones. And they're my favorite ones to do. And they're close. So they're supposed to text me and call me, let me know when they're leaving the, the first stop. And then I can just come back home. I can, you know, leave a yard halfway, you know, undone, right? And just head back over here and meet them. Now, the only problem is if they don't let me know and they just show up, and then they, they call me and say, hey, we're here, and we, we're not allowed to wait or something. Um, we're going to have to leave. And I'm like, oh, no. I'll run you off the road down here if I have to. <laughs> You're leaving that washing machine here, okay? I need it. I'll tell you something. Everybody has extra shirts, socks, underwear. That's not the problem. But my work pants, okay, this is the second time I've wore them this week without washing them. <laughs> Keep that in mind, the Chevy dealer needs to, make, I told you they need to sanitize that car after me, and that's the reason, okay? <laughs> so, um, yeah, there you go. So I got that, I got the $700 washer coming, I went in for the oil change, and I knew the brakes, okay, it's a 2014 truck, right? 2014, 
and it um, it was original breaks. So there you go. Whatever. You know, whatever. I'm not. I'm not mad. I, I totally understand. Right. Let's go ahead and do that and get it over with because I don't want to go deal with it. I don't need any more sidetracks. I'm busy enough. I got stuff to do and I like that. I'm going to go take care of these lawns. Everything's cool. Make sure, this is to the young people out there. I used to say this all the time on my old channel and all the old videos. You'd see me and my parts would go flying off my mower. I'd wake up, man. Somebody side swipe my truck, you know. Somebody steal my trimmer. All that stuff was happening in my life, you know. Things were just breaking down around the house or whatever. You got to have your credit card handy. I've had a credit card since I was in the 90s. And it like 300 bucks, I think was my first one. And I worked it up. You had to work your way up like back then real hard to get it up to like $1,000. Things saved my butt so many times. Um, matter of fact, when they gave me the loaner car today, I had to give them a valid driver's license and my insurance card. So you have to be, have insurance. And I paid for it all with a credit card. Okay. So keep your stuff together. Keep organized in your life. This is not a race. This is just slow and steady. And that's, man, I need, I need to upload some of them old videos so you can see that doing the right thing has always paid off because you need, you need, sometimes you're your own backup. You're your own help most of the time. You're on your own in this world. And you can pull it off if you're constantly doing like the correct things, which are like the simple things. Just don't be crazy. Well, you can be crazy. Don't be lazy. <laughs> don't be lazy. Okay, I gotta go, man. I got stuff to do. Look at this, they're right on time. Ah, uh, yes. I'm gonna have a washing machine. They're inside hooking it up. I have my mask on. They got theirs on. I didn't know the protocol. Put it on just in case. Yeah. Whew. Hey, I pulled off this freak vlog too. So, hey, it's been a good week. I'm trying new things. That's what you should do. Don't be scared. It'll all work out just fine in the end. And this is the end of the video. I have stuff to do. When they leave, I'm back on the hustle. Yeah, it never stops. Don't ever stop. Talk to you freaks in the future.